Scott, let's just get started with some of the basics. How does a risk management program in the public sector differ from the private sector? Risk management in the public sector overlaps significantly with risk management in the private sector and a lot of people think that they are two completely different entities. Risk management in the private sector is very often concerned with business risks, liquidity risk, market risk, credit risk. Risk management in the public sector is very often concerned with risks to uh, broader objectives, uh, not profit-based, where you're concerned about whether or not you can deliver a program or a project within uh, cost, schedule, and quality criteria. So I would say uh, the two are very similar. The process of how you establish a risk management program in the public sector is very much the same as how you do it in the private sector. You start with objectives. You're concerned with risks to those objectives. You're concerned with root causes and risk management actions, which are very often the same types of actions that can be taken um, in both the public sector and the private sector. Uh, where it becomes different is in how those objectives are then operationalized. We look at the same broad avenues. We look at the same uh, types of objectives, but then how it gets implemented in the public sector is going to be much different. We have different objectives uh, and we have different ways of meeting those objectives. And I think that's where the differences come in between the public sector and the private sector. Do you think that management on the public sector side or our public sector officials, do they have the same level of um, interest and expectations uh, for setting up risk management programs in the public sector? I think the management is very concerned with risk management. I think they defined risk management though more narrowly than they do in the private sector. Uh, in the public sector, we've always been concerned with operational risk. Uh, I was in the military for a long time and we were very much concerned with uh, risk management uh, in order to be able to make sure that we can do our uh, the function or the operation, uh, we can succeed and we can do it safely. But in the private sector, they take a much broader uh, perspective uh, of risk than we do sometimes in the public sector. And so I think that's where public sector management needs to uh, become more educated and to say, um, how do these other risks that we normally think of in the private sector, how do they apply to the public sector? Uh, let me give you an example. We often think of liquidity risk as a banking risk where there isn't enough money to loan to people and that's what we saw in 2007, 2008. Uh, but you look at what's happening now uh, in Europe, in Greece, and that is liquidity risk, it's credit risk, it's market risk. And so I think in the public sector, we very often have the same types of risk. We just have to think about how they appear in the public sector as opposed to the private sector. The, the, the underlying processes are often quite similar. It's just how you maybe apply those to what's unique about any situation you're in, whether it's public sector, private, and what industry you might be in. Exactly. 